It's the risk you take every time you fill up your tank. Skimmers, these little things hidden in gas pumps, can steal your bank information in seconds. And for the very first time, we're seeing just how widespread this problem is in DFW because the Ones for Justice connected the dots to explain consumer investigator Alana Otler tonight. Doug, there is no system that tracks when or where skimmers strike. So we made our own. And what we found reveals why your gas station could be an easy target. Some call it a nearly perfect crime, hitting anyone, anywhere, at any time. A device you can't even see is stealing data from your credit card. Frank Perry knows firsthand. Those crooks are smart. Within days of swiping his card at this Valero in Arlington, mysterious charges appeared on the account he shared with his wife. All of a sudden, we started getting calls every time you turn around. You know, there's a fraud here, fraud there. And it's not just here in the Metroplex. It's all over North Texas. As part of its financial crimes task force, the Secret Service regularly checks gas pumps. On average, they find one skimmer a week. But recently, an agent pulled nine in a single day. That is very unusual uh, for us to collect nine gas pump skimmers in one day. And they spotted a trend. Older gas pumps with membrane keypads, like those on a microwave, are more likely to be hit. Easily unlocked with a universal key anyone can buy online. We're going to follow the wire off the card reader itself. The Texas Department of Agriculture also inspects pumps, but only after a complaint has been received. But there is no centralized way of reporting skimmers. To see just how incomplete this picture is, take a look at these. Fewer than 12 cases filed with the state. Compare that to the hundreds of cases filed with local police departments. The I team identified more than 200 unsolved skimming cases across DFW since 2016. It seems the crooks are getting bolder. This station in Louisville hit 13 times in the last two years. In many cases, police found three, four, even five skimmers on the same property. And the devices often go unnoticed. Workers at this station in Farmers Branch told police their alarm pumps had been going off for two days. At this Dallas station, the seal stayed broken for two weeks before getting reported. Once the skimmers are in, crooks can park nearby and steal the data in real time using a Bluetooth signal. This large cable here is this is the information that's reading the magnetic strip on your credit card. Arlington detective Justin Trapach says skimmers often hit perimeter pumps, the ones farthest away from a watchful clerk. He says it's the same reason why 24-7 gas stations are less likely to be hit. The biggest thing is really just, just be aware. The next time you fill up, look for two things. First, red tape. If it's broken, someone tampered with the pump. You can also check your phone. If a Bluetooth signal appears, that could mean a device is inside the panel. But there's only one way to truly prevent skimming. Take it from Frank Perry. From now on, we just pay cash for our gas and don't even use the card unless we really have to. If you want to know if your gas station has been hit by skimmers, we've created an interactive map of every single case we found. And we'll keep adding to it as we get more reports. Head to CBSDFW.com. And Doug, no card is safe, debit, credit, even gift cards. Anything with a magnetic strip can be read and then skimmed. Yeah, it's maddening. So uh, credit card companies, they've become really good at, you know, getting you reimbursed, obviously. But the debit card thing is real scary because that gives people direct access to your bank account. Absolutely. Like I said before, debit cards are not immune to this. As long as there's a magnetic strip, they can actually find out your PIN and get a direct line into your bank account. So you're going to always want to check your statements, credit card, debit card, anything at all like that. And I know in terms of these criminals, what they do with this, uh, with this information is really different. Sometimes they use it themselves. Sometimes they sell it in bundles, sending it overseas. But the thing to remember, Doug, is that the community responsible for this is actually really small. They'll move in packs, hit one area big, and then keep going. So it's really difficult to really, uh, I guess, prosecute these people and find them. Yeah, but you, you dropped three or four really good hints in there for all of us as consumers to look out for. Alana, thank you. Smarter when they stop by, right? If you got questions about credit card skimmers, all you got to do is get to Alana. She will use some of your questions and feedback, by the way, for a brand new Behind the Lens episode online. If you got a question, 817-586-7211. Email can uh, make
make that justice at CBS.com. Then look for this new Behind the Lens tomorrow afternoon. We'll post it up on our website. You'll find it along with our past Behind the Lens productions as well and the iTeam section of CBSDFW.com.